I'm joined on Mobile World Live today by security expert Rick Ferguson from Trend Micro. Rick, great to have you with us. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Rick, of course, 5G is here today and seeing strong consumer interest. But 5G also has huge potential to transform industries. Now, when it comes to security, what do you think 5G will mean for enterprise security? Um, you know, it's an interesting case, actually, because 5G is um, going through the adoption phase within, in the very early stages of the adoption, option, adoption phase within enterprises right now. Um, and there are a number of different possible um, deployment scenarios, if you like. Uh, building your own, um, leasing uh, from a provider. Uh, and I think what we'll end up with, what will kind of become the, the default for quite a long time is a hybrid of those two approaches. So there'll be some from a MNO, from, from a network operator, and some that you build yourself, private enterprise 5G. Uh, and that's very much the way that the, the cloud journey went as well. You know, people were talking about public cloud, private cloud, and we've ended up very much in a state where there's a hybrid of those two within most enterprises. So too with 5G. And actually there's a further parallel, which is really key for enterprise security. Um, as cloud adoption gathered pace within the enterprise, one of the things that we learned and had to accept and adapt to was what has become known as the shared responsibility model, where your cloud provider is responsible for security of the parts of the cloud they provide to you. So underlying hardware and infrastructure, um, hypervisor level stuff, for example, and you, the customer, you are responsible for the security of everything that you put on top of that, your own data, your own apps, your containers, your operating systems, however, whatever the use case is for you in cloud. And I think it's going to be very, very similar. And there are a lot of painful lessons we've already learned in cloud that we can apply directly to 5G. 5G, of course, has security built in, baked in as part of the design, but that doesn't mean it doesn't need additional security on top. And that's the area where people have a lot of learning, uh, a lot of testing, um, and a lot of scoping of requirements to do. You've got the the built-in stuff, which is things like encryption, um, uh, IMSI protection, OAuth, um, TLS. There's a whole bunch of technologies built in. That's the security of the network. But what's really key for enterprises now is security in the network as it's deployed. So that's challenges like how do I secure machine-to-machine um, -machine communication, massive IoT, MIoT stuff? Uh, how do I ensure, uh, assure the security? of the intelligence that I've moved to the edge of the network? How do I assure that devices in that edge and in the core haven't been tampered with, have maintained their integrity, don't have um, tampered firmware? So there's, there's a whole load of areas to secure and a whole, a whole bunch of new technologies and new architectural models to lay on top of that. So tell us a little bit more about those huge challenges, Rick, and, and maybe comment on how Trend Micro is, uh, is working to overcome those as well. Sure. So, I mean, one of the, the standard deployment methods um, within 5G networks is uh, virtualized network functions. And that's actually how we're deploying one part of our security solutions as, as a VNF. So um, the kinds of functions that you need and that we're aiming to, to provide and fulfill, uh, network prevention to defend against intrusion, to detect malware uh, or lateral movement within the target network if it's already compromised. Uh, you need to assure that connecting devices, um, those, those M2M or massive IoT devices, um, ha aren't running, for example, tampered firmware, uh, malicious firmware, where someone's trying to get in that way, maybe a supply chain attack, maybe something like solar winds that we've seen recently. So we need to be able to apply uh, security not only on the network, but also at every endpoint. But that security needs to be device independent, and it needs to operate as a platform. It needs to be something which can operate on the network, in the cloud, on a SIM-based device, and give you um, the, the owner of that infrastructure or the responsible for that infrastructure, the visibility that you need to identify all of the things connecting to your network, the intelligence that you need uh, to identify what's normal and what's going beyond the bounds of normal, and the power and the scope to enforce security in real time uh, in an orchestrated way because 5G is a highly orchestrated infrastructure. So looking at how enterprises can face those challenges now and in the near future, Rick, um, what actions should they be taking? What's your key message to enterprises now? You know, I was uh, giving a presentation um, 
just uh, yesterday with uh, with GSMA uh, Mobile World Live, and I actually came up with five security principles for 5G networks. And, and that's really my, my key guidance at the moment. It is early stages, so they're quite broad guidelines, but they're to give you a framework and a direction to work towards security in, and they are these. Security must be a unifier of the business. Uh, 5G will bring together disparate parts of the business, whether that's the IT folks and the OT folks and the board uh, and the management and the, all the, the commercial business drivers. Security, security can act as a, a bridge and a unifier between all of those different functions. How do we do something successfully and safely? Security also needs to be a platform. That's what I was talking about with the device independent functionality uh, and the, the network agnostic um, functionality and the assumption of zero trust. That's the third principle, adopt a, a zero trust trust approach to security. Don't trust and verify. Trust no one uh, and apply security all the time. Trust uh, no one. Zero trust architecture is absolutely key. Lean heavily into machine learning. You're going to be generating, mining, correlating, dealing with an ever-growing mountain of data. Humans are not going to be able to deal with that in the time that you need them to. So lean heavily into machine learning for security and for your business as well within 5G and make sure that that security is orchestratable, if that's even a word, uh, and policy-based, so it can be applied dynamically in real time with minimal management overhead. That's it. Those are my five principles. Five key takeaways. Uh, security is, of course, one of the most important elements of any network, Rick. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and insight with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.